sexual reproduction in Marchantia. In Marchantia, the sex organs are borne on specialized stalks called receptacles and these are called as the gametophores. This is the gametophore here. This is another gametophore. The receptacles which bear the male sex organ is called as the anthridiophore and the receptacle bearing the female sex organ is called as the archegoniophore. They develop from the growing points of the thallus. From the growing points of the thallus, usually at the end of the vegetative growth, these sex organs or these gametophores develop from the growing regions. In the process of the formation of the gametophore, whether it is anthridiophore or archegoniophore, the growing region is completely utilized and so the vegetative growth ceases completely. The gametophore actually is an extension of the thallic. Marchantia is a heterothallic species that is it is dioecious plants where the male sex organs and the female sex organs develop on two different thalli. However, in Marchantia palmata, and Marchantia polymorpha Both Anthridia and Archegonia have been found on the same receptacle. Such receptacles are called as androgynophores. Let us now learn about the structure and development of Anthridiophore. The Anthridiophore is 1 to 3 centimeters in its length. And the stalk is slightly convex and eight lobed peltate disc. The vertical section of the peltate disc is similar to that of the thallus. The upper epidermis is interrupted by a number of air pores. Each opening has an air chamber below it. This is the air pore which resembles to that of the thallus and below this air pore or the air pore enters protrudes into a chamber called as the air chamber. So every air pore has an air chamber below it. The anthridial chamber alternates with the air chamber. In between the air chamber there is another chamber which is called as the anthridial chamber. The anthridial chamber has anthridia inside it. So the anthridial chamber and the air chamber alternate with one another. Each anthridial chamber contains a single anthridium and the chamber opens externally by a pore called as an osteole. This is the opening called as the osteole through which the anthridial chamber opens outside. The anthridia are arranged in an acropetal manner on the peltate disc. That is the larger anthridia towards the central region of the anthridiophore on the peltate disc whereas the smaller anthridia are towards the periphery. The thallus and the anthridiophore internally are similar. They show the lateral grooves. This is the anthridium. These are the photosynthetic filaments.
these are the air pores. Let us now see how the anthridium develops on the anthridiophore. The development of anthridium in Marchantia. The anthridium develops from a single superficial cell, slightly below the anthridial chamber, slightly below this chamber. One of the cell is identified as an anthridial initial. This anthridial initial is different from the other cells in the sense that it has dense cytoplasm and is larger than the other cells.